Simple example, right? In the case of the distributor ledger technology, if my mother, farmer, was connected to the distributed ledger technology, okay? And she was connected via SMS. Remember, what the distributed ledger technology does is it's a network where not one, pe one person owns all the truth and everybody has the same copy of the truth. Make sense? Live example, right? I'm sure it happens in Brazil. So now, if I use distributed ledger technology using the village example, all the villagers are on the network. It's not a public blockchain. It's a permission blockchain between the mother, the co-op, the distributor, and the company. Very simple example for supply chain, right? The entire supply chain world is churning right now because of blockchain. In this example, that mother doesn't have to have a smartphone. Everything works SMS. So when she brings her bag of beans and gives it to the co-op, the co-op can cheat her, okay? But if he cheats her, the mother is going to have a copy of the cheated transaction. Everybody with me? Is this making sense? Okay, good. So in that example, if the mother got the right price, she is going to get a copy that's going to be sent her to her via SMS. Okay, let's assume she's just SMS-based phones. And when the cooperative brings the bag consolidated to the distributor, the distributor, in order to get paid, has to accept that transaction. Okay? So if I'm Nestle or Unilever or whoever, right, before even the product came to me, if I'm also on the distributor ledger, connected, I can see my supply chain all the way to the mother's eyes, right? So now when I come with the final truck to Unilever, Unilever has full transparency into the supply chain. Now, a lot of people push back and say, wait a minute, why can't I cheat this system, right? Corruption is a big deal, right? The answer is simple. Yes, you can cheat, but I'll know who cheated. Okay? That's the, that's the first lesson around transparency. You need to know what people are doing.